everyone. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on here and share some of the things that I had gotten this holiday season. Some for my birthday, like early birthday presents, uh, but mostly from Christmas. And I did kind of order the stuff that was for me, but stuff like these pen cases, I... I didn't ever see them in person. So when I received the package, I wrapped it and stuck it under the tree so that I could be surprised by something on on Christmas while everybody else was opening presents and being surprised. So that turned out really nice. I'm going to start with this. I don't want to go too in depth with, with all of these things. I just kind of want this to be a quick overview. So as far as printing at home goes for photos, I'm coming from the HP Sprocket, and I think like anything else on the market is better than that. And I initially thought I wasn't going to invest in any kind of photo printing thing. And then I thought, I'll just get something that's the best quality. It doesn't matter so much that it's the most portable version. And, and then I'll have it in case I want better quality photos at any time because normally I do use my regular home printer that has well I just use regular printer paper copy paper just the cheapest thinnest stuff that you can buy in bulk and generally I'm very happy with using very thin photos like that in all of my scrapbooking and stuff but every now and then when I want a better quality photo, I can turn to this. And this prints like four by six photos, but I can put two photos on a page, like shrink them down. It's really easy to do that. So I've been enjoying this. I haven't really dived deep yet, uh, but I did print out a whole bunch of different collage type formats to see what size I like the best. And I think, I think when I print four on one, uh, I get pretty good detail and it's really nice to use that in some of my scrapbooking and memory keeping. So, so far so good with this. I'm, I'm glad to finally have another actual photo printer again. And there are so many videos about this, comparisons with this and like every other thing on the market. I found all of those helpful. I watched so many and I just had to pull the trigger on something. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get this. It's just going to sit in my office and be useful to me when when I need it. Uh, let's do this really quick. So my super sweet friend Robin, um, she is Talks from the Heart. She sent me a little birthday package and this little charm, <laughs> this is from Baumkuchen and it's the it's made by the Superior Labor. It was actually attached to this sampled piece of leather with this uh, like circular thing holding it onto the back. Um, so I didn't want to throw this away because it's an actual like piece of leather. So I guess I'll just see how this patina is. This feels like really dry. If this is the leather that Superior Labor uses, I think I'm going to be super judgy on that because I really don't like the way this feels. Um, but I'm going to keep this around and, and just see how it ages. But I really wanted this charm. I don't know what it was about this star charm, but I've always wanted it. I wanted it all last year, all of 2020, but I never bought it for myself because I couldn't justify the cost. Um, and so Robin knew this was on my wish list forever and she got it for me and I always imagined it on my my mega planner. And I gotta say, I'm not disappointed at all. I absolutely love it here. And I'm just really glad to have this tiny little trinket. I'm not a charm person. It's really hard for me to be interested or excited about charms. But this one, and of course it had to be like the most expensive thing ever. Um, but anyway, I'm so glad I finally have it and I've been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it on my setup. And it's just like a little, a little extra something um, that makes it feel a, a little bit more special. So I'm super happy to have it. Thank you, Robin. Um, and the other thing she got me was this Sailor Shikiori uh, ink 
this, I'm, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that, but that's it. It's this like olivey, muddy type of color. I don't know what it is, but I am super attracted. I think it's all the Robert Oster inks. Um, but I find myself super duper attracted to the sort of like muddy, mossy, uh, greenish um, and brownish types of colors for, for fountain pens. I actually want to put this in my um, rollerball pen. I think I'm going to do that next. I have to clean out so many pens right now. So I haven't actually put this in a pen yet, uh, but that <laughs> this is like the first time I've actually really sat down to, oh my gosh, to really play with this. Oh my goodness, I love this color. Um, I just picked this after looking at lots of uh, tests and swabs and things online and it just seemed like it had the undertone that I was really, <laughs> really interested in. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. This is probably going to end up, oh, see when it dries, it turns like brown. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm really going to want to clean out my pen now <laughs> and put it in there. I don't know if that's going to pick up at all, but when it dries, it goes from that green and then all the brown starts coming through. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited. I got to I gotta get on top of things. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then the last things, speaking of pens, are these. So these are, I think they're pretty new, the newish uh, molded pen cases from Galen Leather. I bought these for myself, uh, well, along with a selfie. Um, but I, I have bad luck with Galen Leather for some reason. Um, I usually, I don't know, I get the leather and it's beautifully constructed, but I never get on with the leather. It's like too orange or, or something. There's always something. So this is the distressed leather and this is like thinner and more pliable than I thought it would. In the photos, it just looks like this is some super thick, rigid thing, but it's not. So this is the three pen holder. Um, I got both variations, the five pen and the three pen holder. There is also another one. It's shorter. It's made for Kaveco pens or just pocket pens, I think. But I wasn't interested in that because all my pens are full size. But all of these have this little tray that goes in it made of this very lightweight and very stiff, like nude leather. And um, this is very sturdy. I was very, very happy with this. And I love that it pulls completely out. So then this is just an empty case and can be used for like anything you you could want. So I have a Pelican M600. This is a 605. And all of my pens fit wonderfully in here. Oh, this is a Twisby Diamond 580 ALR. Uh, yeah, so they all fit great. This closure is just the funnest little gimmick. It's got a keyhole, but I don't know what that's about. I don't have anything that can fit in there, so I don't know if it's going to do anything. If I try to, um, I don't know, lock it or something, uh, maybe I can find like a cheap key to fit in there. That looks like the sort of dime a dozen diary keys that everybody used to have, or I had so many. Um, but I love that it has this second piece of leather right here because for opening and closing, it makes it super sturdy since it is pretty floppy, uh, without, well, j with just one layer like that. So that came in so handy. I didn't realize, I didn't realize that this was such a functional piece until I started using it. And I was like, gosh, that's so nice that that's rigid and really helps with the closure. And then I flipped and looked and saw that it was a whole nother piece added there. So very, very nice detail on this. And of course, just it being molded like this and then the 
the stitching and I just love that this looks like such an antique piece and normally I'm not a fan of contrasting stitching but this isn't like stark white it's just like a, a creamy beige color I love it I love these I was like speechless when when I opened this up so it was just an awesome surprise on Christmas for me so this is the five pen holder um I have this in here. This is the Platinum Curados. This does not fit as far as like the height goes. It, it will very barely close. And because the Platinum Curados depends on being fully closed so that it's sealed, I feel like it pushes it in just a little bit and opens up the seal when it's in here. So I just wanted to show that. So what I normally have in here is my Twisby. I have curated this pen case and I love it. I have recently, like two days ago or three days, no, two days ago, I kind of redid my lineup, like a little, like I tweaked it a little bit and I really simplified because I was just starting to feel, well, I was getting busy and so then I started feeling overwhelmed by a lot of the stuff that I had. So I simplified a few of my setups. And one of the things I did was make this pen case be my main pen case. I'm not really using this one right now. And I wasn't sure which one I would need. So I just got both of them. And when I need one or the other, I, I have them available. So right now, this is the one that's super handy. So I have like one of everything that I would need. I have my Kakimori rollerball pen. This is the one I want to fill with this Sailor ink because um, it's empty anyway. So I've got to, I've got to clean that. I have a gel pen. This is actually a Uniball one body, but I have it filled with a Signo, a Uniball Signo refill. And then I have one vintage fountain pen, one modern fountain pen. Twisby Ecos are just my workhorse. I always have to have one. And then uh, a pencil. So I haven't mentioned this at all, but last year in 2020, like around summertime, I bought a starter kit of Blackwing pencils and I will, I have been randomly using them in journaling and I was just really missing pencils for some reason. And I mean, I haven't used pencils since like school, since grade school and, and I really enjoyed it. And for some reason, the nostalgia just kind of like hit me and I just wanted that again. So I bought the starter pack and I, I actually have been starting to use this again now. So I just kind of have like one of everything in here and I love that it's all in one place. It's all really convenient and I'll pull out the tray just so you can see what it looks like, but it's exactly the same. And you know, like you can hear how dry it kind of is, but super sturdy and then you have this big open space if you wanted to repurpose this for something else but you can see how kind of squishy this is I really really like that about this I really love this leather and it smells really really good so that is everything really I got you know other little bits and bobs of things um like Robin sent me like a washi sample card and all this stuff. So, um, but I just wanted to show you the bigger things. Also, look at the swatch now. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So it's like blue here and then browns are coming through and then the green. Mm, this is so nice. Okay, so I'm really happy and excited about that. So the, that's everything. Um, it, it was actually kind of hard for me to figure out what to put on my, my Christmas list, weirdly enough. I've never had issues in the past, but for some reason, um, 
I, I think I'm just maybe feeling overwhelmed by, by what I have. And I get a little upset thinking that like my washi collection is starting to age and I really need to start using it. And I'm having to declutter lately just because of a possible move we might be doing um, at some point this year. So I just felt like I didn't want a whole bunch of extra stuff just to have it. And so, yeah, I just wanted these pieces. I ended up getting them and I was really, really happy. Let me know if uh, you got everything that was on your wish list for Christmas as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you again soon. Bye.